I've had my rain barrel collection system installed for well over six months now, and I have found the task of checking the water level a bit cumbersome. I wanted a simple and more reliable way to check the water level. After researching online, I found a better solution that I would like to share, so let's jump right into it. Now you may be wondering, why is this video shot in portrait mode? Well, I wanted to use this water level project as a test for making a YouTube short, and YouTube recommends shooting shorts in a vertical orientation, but limits creators to 60 seconds per video. So there were a few details I did not have enough time to explain that I will go over in this video. So I started out by marking on the outflow pipe where I would connect my water level indicator. I use PVC cutters to cut the pipe, which I highly recommend, but you can also use a hacksaw. For information on the parts and tools I used in this video, I will leave links in the description. I use OD single step clear PVC cement to connect all my PVC components. In some cases, I added PVC cement to the parts off camera to help reduce the length of the video. To save money, I decided to install a 3 4 inch PVC T fitting that reduces down to 1 half inch. Once the T-fitting was installed, I cut and inserted a small piece of 1 half inch PVC pipe into the T-fitting. I then installed a 1 half inch T-fitting. One side of the fitting will connect to a ball valve so I have quick access to the rain barrel water and the other side will connect to the water level indicator. I left a small gap between the wall and the 1 half inch pipe so that I had enough space to move the pipe insulation up and down that I will install later in the video. I decided to install a 1 half inch union fitting so that if I wanted to, I could quickly remove the water level indicator for cleaning. To cut the clear PVC pipe, it was recommended to use a hacksaw or bandsaw instead of PVC cutters. I made sure to cut the pipe a couple of inches taller than my rain barrels to prevent water from pouring out of the pipe when the barrels were completely full. Once the clear PVC was cut, I installed the other end of the PVC union onto the bottom of the pipe. After the PVC cement had a little time to cure, I attached the clear PVC pipe to the system. Sunlight exposure is limited in this area, but to help prevent any chance of algae growth, I installed pipe insulation over the clear PVC pipe. After I installed the pipe insulation, I noticed that the pipe would need a support bracket to correct the pipe position. This part may be optional for most depending on your setup, but to create my support bracket, I used a scrap piece of wood that would serve two purposes. After cutting the wood to size, I drilled two holes to support a large U-bolt. I then enlarged the holes on the back side of the piece of wood using a step bit which will give me access to insert and tighten the nuts for the U-bolt. Before inserting the U-bolt into the wood, I made sure two nuts were present on both sides of the bolt. Once the U-bolt was inserted into the wood, I installed a washer on both sides of the bolt followed by the nuts. It was also important that the bolt did not protrude from the back of the piece of wood since the wood needed to mount flush against my wooden fence. Once the new support bracket was made, I used two 3 inch exterior screws to secure the bracket to the wall. Now, there are a few areas I could improve on for this support bracket, but overall it turned out decent enough to get the job done. Again, this may not be needed for your application. Since water seeks its own level, after a few seconds, the water level in the clear PVC pipe would normalize and display the water level in my barrels. Here's a few more angles. As I mentioned before, I can also use the 1 half inch ball valve to quickly access the rain barrel water in case I just need to fill up a bucket or watering can. To help prevent any bugs or debris from entering the top of the pipe, I placed the 3 4 inch end cap over the top. Quick note, 
It's important not to glue the end cap to the top of the pipe since air needs to be able to enter and exit the clear PVC pipe as the water level rises and falls. Be sure to check out my rain barrel system explained video to learn more. Overall, it was exciting to have an easier method of checking the water level in my barrels without having to remove the lids. There were many other methods out there to accomplish the same purpose, but some were either not reliable long term, did not meet my needs, or were expensive. At the end of the day, always do what works for you. If you found this video helpful or think others might, please be sure to share it, give it a thumbs up, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So until next time, thanks for watching.